Hi students, welcome to your PDA education and uh, welcome back to the question, NPTEL questions module and uh, for electrical engineering we are talking about now and that too the subject is electrical measurements. So this is the first question in electrical measurements and this is the good subject for interview point of view. This is a very good subject for interview point of view because the interviewer will have more interest in asking the questions in this particular subject rather than in any exams in any competitive exams if you take gate exam only one mark or two marks is the weightage if you take IES you will have good weightage and even for PSU exams also this subject will have good weightage but for gate this subject is very very less weightage subject when compared to the other subjects and this is the uh, what is the advantage of our NPTEL uh, questions module is uh, we are providing the book uh, for electrical engineering students in this manner and uh, this will be divided with different uh, sub modules like uh, different uh, subjects uh, modules will be there and uh, they, they are equipped with the which one NPTEL assignment questions. So if you practice this NPTEL assignment questions there might be a chance you may get a relevant questions in the gate exam also because NPTEL uh, series NPTEL questions or NPTEL courses are taken by the IIT professors. So there might be a chance you may get a relevant questions in your gate exam or any PSU especially gate exam there might be a chance you may get a relevant type of questions. Okay, now let's move to the first question of your electrical measurements that is question number 43 and 44 we'll discuss. So both question number 43 and 44 because this is a common data question we are discussing now. If you check with this question, it is a voltmeter loading effect question. This is the voltmeter loading or loading effect question. So why we are discussing loading effect and all we'll discuss uh, when we go deeper into this question and the let's read the question and let's try to solve the question first so what is the question he has given is in the figure the open circuit voltage between terminals a and b is vab that is 10 volts and the thevenin's resistance between the a and b is 250 ohms so what is the meaning of open circuit voltage and thevenin's resistance means directly he is mentioning the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of this particular black box. So we usually call these kind of boxes we call it as a black box. We call them as a black box. So the electrical equivalent circuit of this black box he has directly given he this will be replaced with uh, some open circuit voltage and in series with the resistance. So we call that resistance as Thevenin's resistance. So this is the electrical equivalent representation of this circuit or this black box circuit uh, like this. So this uh, voltage open circuit voltage is also called as Thevenin's voltage. This is also called as Thevenin's voltage. So what is the open circuit voltage he, he has given? He has given, he has mentioned it as 10 volts. What is the Thevenin's resistance he has mentioned? It is 250 ohms, 250 ohms. Now, now the actual comment the question comes into picture first question is if we measure the voltage VAB with a voltmeter having an internal resistance of 1 kilo ohm what will be the voltmeter reading what will be the voltmeter reading so now here what he has done is he has connected a voltmeter like this he has connected a voltmeter like this this is the voltmeter he has connected so this voltmeter is having some internal resistance. So how much amount of internal resistance it is having? It is having internal resistance of 1 kilo ohm. So as this circuit is having internal resistance of 1 kilo ohm, so what happens to the reading? What happens to the voltmeter reading? So that is the first question. And the second question is how much error will be there as a will be there as a percentage? Uh, as a percentage of the true voltage VAB so in the absence of the meter so what is the meaning of true voltage means uh, if you don't have an uh, if you don't have a meter so whatever the output voltage will get uh, so that is called as a true voltage so instead of uh, taking the true voltage in the absence you can take in the absence of a meter or if you connect an ideal voltmeter that is also true value of measurement will get now let's 
start analyzing this question and start solving this question first we'll take a true uh, first we'll calculate the true value true voltage by using ideal voltmeter or by using open circuiting the so electrical equivalent circuit of this particular circuit then we'll calculate the voltage reading by inserting this voltmeter within some internal resistance then we'll calculate then we'll move to the next question that is error calculation that is the next calculation is error calculation now let's start with the first one what is the first one is let me take the circuit electrical equivalent circuit and first we'll calculate the true value true voltage we'll calculate this is the 10 volts this is 10 volts this is 250 ohms now here here he is asking us what is the true voltage means by open circuiting the load terminals by open circuiting the terminals a and b so we'll get the true voltage we call it as a if we open circuit there won't be any current flow in the circuit so current is zero so your output voltage or true voltage will be same as your thevenin's voltage of 10 volts so this is one method if nothing is mentioned about the which one nothing is mentioned about the connections or nothing is mentioned about the open circuit condition and all so how you have to do is you need to connect a you need to take the electrical equivalent circuit same electrical equivalent circuit but we need to connect what type of element here we have to connect a voltage a voltmeter 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 and how much amount of internal resistance is there for this voltmeter how much amount of internal resistance will be there for voltmeter internal resistance will be very very high internal resistance will be very very high so here the internal resistance will take it as infinity will take it as infinity ohms near to infinity ohms practically it will be very very high near to infinity but ideal as i choose this voltmeter as ideal so ideal means it will have an internal resistance of infinite ohms ideal resistance with infinite ohms means again it is same as open circuit only again it is same as open circuit but uh, voltmeter we have to represent so that so whatever the amount as uh, the internal resistance is very very high or huge infinity so what is the amount of current will flow through the circuit again zero so what is the true value of voltage true value of voltage is equal to how much it is 10 volts it is 10 volts now what i'll do is i'll connect the now i'll connect the which one now we'll connect the uh, voltmeter with internal resistance so case one is over case one is over calculation of true voltage now let's move to the case two so what is case two so let's connect the let's connect the which one let us connect the voltmeter like this so this is 250 250 and this is 10 volts 250 ohms here we'll connect the which one voltmeter which is having some internal resistance which is having some internal resistance like this so this r internal is how much how much is the internal resistance how much it is it is one kilo ohm he has given one kilo ohm he has given now this old voltmeter is having some internal resistance of one kilo ohm and this is the source and this is the thevenin's resistance so both the resistances are connected in series so i can use the voltage division concept to calculate the voltmeter reading so this is the actual reading we are calculating so actual we write this as actual so what is the actual value how we will calculate the actual voltage by using by using voltage division principle voltage division principle by using voltage division principle so what is voltage division principle total voltage multiplied by the resistance where we need to calculate the voltage that is r internal r internal divided by so r total resistance in the circuit that is r internal plus r thevenin so what is this value 10 multiplied by 1000 1000 by 1250 you will get so what is this value you will get uh, we'll get the value as 8 volts we'll get the value as 8 volts now if you observe the two values if you observe the two values 
what is the two values we got is the true voltage the true voltage which is equal to 10 volts but uh, the actual voltage is equal to how much the actual voltage is equal to 8 volts we got so there is a drop of 2 volts is happening why there is a drop of 2 volts is happening because of the presence of because of the presence of the resistance offered by or because of the presence of resistance which is offered by the voltmeter so actually this voltmeter must read 10 volts but because of the presence of resistance because of the resistance presence in the voltmeter what it is doing it is creating some load or some effect and this load is creating some effect on the original system so because of that one we are getting a less value of voltage so the answer for this first question is 43 question is 8 volts is the answer now he is asking us to calculate what value with the voltage value the percentage error he is asking us to calculate so how will calculate the percentage error so he has mentioned directly that so true value minus actual value this is the difference in voltage with respect to true value because he has mentioned and multiply with 100 for calculation of percentage what is true value it is 10 so what is actual value it is 8 by true value is 10 multiplied by 100 so what is the percentage error we got what is the percentage error so this value is equal to 20 percent 20 percent so this is the value percentage error value now now suppose suppose same uh, sir same question what i'll do is i'll extend this question uh, a little bit further because of the presence of voltmeter resistance because of the presence of voltmeter resistance of one kilo ohm what is happening what is happening your actual value is reducing from true value so if if i keep on increasing this resistance uh, from 1 kilo ohm to 2 kilo ohm what happens to the actual value so let us see that let us see that so if i increase the value from 1 kilo ohm to 2 kilo ohm so let me take this uh, uh, otherwise uh, let me take this as 2 kilo ohm that will be better so what is the actual value we'll get what is the actual value 10 into what is the new voltage it is 2000 by what is the total voltage 2000 250 so 200 by 2 2250 uh, 25 8 times 25 9 times it will be 80 by 9 80 by 9 so what is the meaning what is the value of 80 by 9 so assume approximately uh, let us consider this as 81 so this value is approximately near to 9 volts near to 9 volts so if i increase the value of re resistance uh, so 1 kilo ohm resistance is giving how much value 8 volts as an actual value so let me take it as a, in terms of a, a tabular form let me represent in tabular form so this is the tabular form i am representing so if i choose 1 kilo ohm we got actual value as 8 if i choose it as 2 kilo ohm the actual value we got as near to 9 volts so if i choose 10 10 kilo ohms or 5 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms so this will increase means 8 to 9 it is increased means it will again increase this value again increase this value so if you keep on increasing so if you choose the voltmeter with a higher value of internal resistance so then the value of obtained value of actual value will be very very nearer to the true value so that our system error so whatever the system it is throwing some error that is 20 percent error now that percentage of error we can reduce by choosing higher voltage higher voltmeter internal resistances so as you keep on increasing the as you keep on selecting the higher resistance voltmeters which will reduce the error so because of why it will reduce the error means the reading whatever the voltmeter shows which will be nearer to the which will be nearer to the what value which will be nearer to the true value which will be nearer to the true value so like this we need to select the answer and we need to solve the questions thank you all the best